that it's almost a relief to finally get the football teams on the field to play the game, to get away from all the hype and all of the noise. Oklahoma came out yesterday and worked out, must have had eight to 900 people pushing into the stadium to watch them, and they went through their slow motion drill and had a good time, entertained everybody. Nebraska came out early on in the day yesterday for their last uh, shakedown, and almost nobody showed up, save a few bold scouts. The records of the two teams reflected there. Nebraska's loss to Colorado in the conference. Oklahoma's loss outside the conference to Miami. And if the Sooners win today, they lock the conference championship. Todd Thompson will be kicking off for the white-clad Sooners and the red-clad Nebraska Cornhuskers. That's the coldest 52 degrees I've ever seen. And here we go as Thompson hits it, and there'll be no return. I could see the minute it left his foot, it would not be returned because it's up against the stands and well beyond. Interesting that they ran left the first time, but they go back to the right side. It's a bad pitch by Taylor. The ball is bouncing around and finally covered by Nebraska. Back on the two-yard line, Taylor pursuing the play. And it's Oklahoma's ball, first down. Holloway coming at you. Caught behind the line of scrimmage and thrown down. And it's... came loose the Cornhuskers have stopped the Oklahoma Sooners the ball squirted right through his hand looked to me like tell me get your bullets in my <laughs> chest yeah, some bullets. second down and ten Taylor got around the corner and got the first down Taylor has all day gets it off Brenton is caught from behind by Scott Gall. First down, Nebraska. Taylor, still going. Gets it off to the sideline. And the pass is good. Down at the 15. Caught by Rod Smith. And Sonny Brown made the hit. Brenton. Taylor keeps it. And goes to the two. You could hear the collision between Taylor and Bosworth all the way to the drugstore. They get in here. If Nebraska scores here, it's going to be one whale of a football game because this crowd will be in it. The Nebraska kids will be believing. Again, it's Taylor using his instincts. Got a pretty good ticket that time. Punched by Brian Bosworth. Bosworth slides down the line. Does it as well as any linebacker. Avoids all contact. Comes up and just helmet to helmet. That's power football. Second and goal from the two. Go inside with Keith Jones. Dive, touchdown, Huskers! It's third down and right at 10, and Holloway loops it up for Keith Jackson, and he's got it, and he's got a first down at the Nebraska 16-yard line. Charles Fryer trying to defend, but Jackson... Is Second down and eight for Oklahoma. Nebraska leading seven to nothing. Sooners were stopped cold on the Nebraska 15 when they had a big scoring opportunity. Both teams had a ragged start, but Nebraska, after stopping Oklahoma, marched right down the field and scored. Now Oklahoma is trying to respond, and a 15-yard personal foul penalty has been the big, big play in this possession. This is Lydell Carr, the fullback, and he just keeps on pounding, keeps his leg. Keeps it, turns it, dives, touchdown, Oklahoma. Jones, the eye back, will not get it. Bosworth, Brian, Johnson for Oklahoma. Bosworth. Take a look at the line surge again. The big red firing off there. But see how Oklahoma catches the blocks? Fight them off, get rid of the blocker, and now all of a sudden you come up, penetrate, and make the tackle. And look, one, two. They gave title. If Nebraska wins it, three teams share first place. Holloway getting pursued. Munford after him. Trips him up and brings him down. Back on the Oklahoma saddle. 
Taylor's pass down the middle is good. Oh, that's a hell Keith Jones. Number 10, David Vickers, and a penalty flag back inside the 10. That oftentimes means holding. Oklahoma man shaking on the play, Vickers. Vickers really laid a lick on Keith Jones. You could hear the collision all the way up here. Keith Jones did a great job just to get loose, get around the corner, used his 4-3 speed. There's the contact made. And Vickers also came down on his shoulder. Now we'll get the definition of the penalty flag. There was a penalty flag on the play. Oh. So on Nebraska. Chuck Flick holds. The snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is away. And the kick is good. And the Huskers go back into the lead, 10 to 7, with four minutes in the city of Oklahoma by a score of 10 to 7. In this, their 67th meeting. The punt into the win. Got a little pressure on him, and he's got a pretty good kick away. And this is Brinson looking for some help and gets it around the corner. One man, the punter. That's all. And he got it. Thompson brought him down at the Oklahoma 28. ABC Sports flags in pretty good company there, isn't it? It sure is. Second down and seven. Taylor still got it. Pass down the middle. It is good. of Nebraska. Best in the fourth quarter. So we've got 15 minutes to play. Nebraska, 17, Oklahoma, 7. Mm. Here we go. Oklahoma, third down, about two. Just inside the Nebraska 44-yard line. Didn't or did he? Where's the mark? for the Sooners, 37 of Nebraska. Lydell Carr goes up the middle, breaks it big, goes to the 20. Second down, six. Holloway. Pure speed got him by the first man. Then he had... And he drilled it. So at 10-39, the play in the football game it is now a seven-point difference and he's back in there at quarterback and certainly Blake did his job while he was in and it's second down and seven Jones fumbles the football it's rolling around fight for it and I think Oklahoma's got a fair chance to get it I see Earl Johnson, I become more impressed, but he's had a star across the rear. Yet to play a full season. Three different injuries to his kneecaps. Severely curtailed his playing time. Second down and five, and it's a short five. Holloway follows. 
throws Johnson into the hole. And the ball's fumbled. Nebraska gets it back. 